My name is Malcolm Quinn and I am Professor of Cultural and Political History, Associate Dean of Research and Director of the Graduate School for Campbell, Camberwell, Chelsea and Wimbledon Graduate School. For some time my research has been focused in the widest sense on public aesthetics and ethics but more recently I've been focusing on the role of culture, taste and cultural institutions such as art schools in the growth of commercial society since the 18th century. More specifically I'm quite interested in the psychosocial aspects of taste. For example, why is it that cultivating a sense of taste leads you to believe that you can trust yourself before you can trust the products, services and goods that surround you? Or how does taste allow you to live in the inferno of capitalism whilst being somehow autonomous and untouched by it all? I was led to follow this line of research following a sabbatical grant in 2009 from the University of the Arts to do some work on the early history of the state-funded art school in Britain, which became a book which was called Utilitarianism and the Art School in 19th Century Britain. And that book focused not so much on the art school curriculum as on the political decisions and the political ideas that had contributed to the decision to put state funding into an art school. And then following the publication of that book, in 2015 I organised a conference at Chelsea College of Arts in collaboration with the VNA and Middlesex University called Victorian Futures, where we looked at quite a long history dating back to the Reform Act of 1832, the birth of the state-funded art school in 1837, the Great Exhibition of 1851, the revisitation of the Great Exhibition in the Festival of Britain in 1951, and the journey towards Olympicopolis, which is a site in the Olympic Park where branches of the VNA and the University of the Arts London will be setting up shop in the near future. My role as Director of Graduate School and Associate Dean of Research is to bring research and teaching ever closer together. One of the ways we do this is through our graduate school events. So every year we stage a number of events which we build from staff research in the three colleges of Camberwell, Chelsea and Wimbledon but which we ask the academics who lead the events to include student contributions in a material and rigorous way, not simply students as audience, but students as collaborators, students involved in workshops, students sometimes leading the debate. I'm still very excited about the psychosocial history of taste, particularly the possibility that the resources that we've had to produce middle-class taste for the past couple of hundred years might be running out or dissipating or fraying at the edges and connected with that the question of whether taste and civilization necessarily go together.